In today's project spotlight, I'm going to be talking about this flower window hanging. What I made, how I made it, and what I learned. Welcome to Evita Studio. My name is Elizabeth and I help you make beautiful things with quilting, pojagi, and embroidery. So this flower window hanging is part of my Four Seasons collections and I wanted to make four window hangings that represented the four seasons and then I could switch them out throughout the year. So this flower is to represent spring. Now this is made with reversible Pujagi style patchwork. So it's only one layer of fabric. So it is pieced, but it's not a quilt. It's not quilted. And because of the seam technique that's used, you can see when it is in a window, it looks like stained glass. And a lot of people, when they see that technique, they think that there's black fabric in the seams to make it look like stained glass. But you can see when it's not in a window, there's no black fabric. It's because of the seams, that's what gives it this effect. And so when I was designing it, I was thinking a flower would be a good spring project. And so I chose these fabrics. There's this kind of like beige on white pattern for the background and then blue and pink. Um, and so these are batik fabrics. Batiks are really great to work with for this kind of a project. So that's what I made and that's how I made it. But I learned a lot of things from this project. The first thing I learned was how to design projects with this technique. Now projects with this technique are different than regular quilting projects and so you can't design them in the same way. It is a much different way to think about things. Um, you can see here this is one of the first drafts that I did. I tried some sample things and I learned from trial and error and this initial piece you can see it has five petals instead of six and it was okay but it was much more difficult to do and so um, I kept trying and I like this one with the six petals the I like the symmetry that it has in the design. So this piece helped me to develop my skills to be able to design in this technique, but it also reinforced me the whole idea that this technique doesn't work with precision piecing. And I know especially traditional quilters, they really want things to line up perfectly. Um, they want everything to um, work together and this technique is very difficult to do that so just for example you can see here in this edge with these two petals where they join it looks like they don't join together like they are offset compared to um, in this case where it seems like they do join or they're pretty close to joining but this little angle here when it's in a window you don't notice that at all because the seam looks dark so in the window it looks like it joins perfectly um, and so that was a really good learning experience to me to realize that um, it is very difficult to get things to join and it doesn't really matter we can see up here these seams don't line up these seams don't line up here and yet, when it's in a window, it looks really nice. And so trying to design something to get everything to line up perfectly is very difficult. And I don't think it's even necessary. I think this piece looks great, even though a lot of the seams don't line up. And so that's something as a traditional quilter, I had to kind of get used to, but once I was able to relax and let go of my quilting perfectionism, then I was able to enjoy this technique, enjoy what a quick and easy project it is. Um, the one thing that's nice with these window hangings is that it's only piecing. Once you're done the piecing, then you're done the project. There is no quilting that's involved in it. Um, the other thing that I learned with this project is curves and that's one thing that I get asked a lot is doing how can you do this technique with curved piecing because that would open a whole new realm of possibilities 
Now, there are some um, traditional Pajagi designers who stitch everything by hand and they do use curves in their piecing. However, for this machine stitching technique, I haven't come up with a good, um, a good method for doing curve piecing. And if anybody has suggestions, I'm happy to hear them, but I haven't been able to work anything out that is easy to do and fits in with my whole concept of doing this as a quick and easy project. But you'll notice right away that this does have a curve in the middle. And so this is kind of cheating what I did, is what I did with this is there's a circle, it's applique on here, and then on the other side, there's another circle applique. So that actually is two layers of fabric because there's circles that line up on both sides. So it does look like there's curved piecing and in a window, it looks similar because the seam allowance from these circles does look like the dark leading on stained glass, um, but it's not actually curved piecing. It is a little bit of cheating there. So um, this did help me learn to not do curved piecing uh, because I don't have a great technique for doing that. So this flower window hanging is still uh, one of my favorite projects because it's quick and easy to do. And I've actually gone on and made this flower in a lot of different colors. So if you're interested in seeing some of the flowers I made with different fabrics, you can click the link below and go to my website and you can see it in different colors. And if you're interested in making your own flower window hanging, I do have a pattern. So you can check the link below to check that out. But this was a project that I really enjoyed and every spring when I get it out to hang in the window, it makes me happy. To see more Pojagi window hangings that I made and other quilting and embroidery projects, you can see my project galleries at evenestudio.com.